So we're now going to look at setters, which obviously are similar to getters in the way that they set data and getters get data. But this is also similar to creating dates because by setting things, we're setting dates on our carbon object. And you might be thinking, well, why is this useful? When you can just do something like C equals new carbon, and then we can pass in a date, or we could just use the static now method, obviously without new. Why would we need to use setters? Well, setters allow for a lot more flexibility. And if you find yourself needing to access these properties and set specific year, month, day, hour, minute, seconds, and so on, then you might find these helpful. So it's good to know that they exist anyway. So let's start by just creating a new carbon object like so. And then we're going to use some of the setters to set the uh, year, month, day, hour, and so on. So let's do a quick var dump on C. We already know from a previous example that this is going to give us the current date and time. So we know that that's the case. But what if we want to go ahead and just modify, say, the year? Well, we can say C year equals, and then we can give a year. So we could say 1989, for example. And then when we do a var dump on C again, we'll notice that instead of being 2015, this now sets to 1989. And we can do this for a variety of different uh, properties or parts of the date. So we can set the month here as well. We can obviously go ahead and set the day, say to one, etc., etc. So this is just a more flexible way of doing things. And we also have methods that allow us to do this too, if you want a little bit more flexibility, but you don't want to have to set these properties individually. So what we can do is we can say C set date, and this gives us pretty much the same list of arguments that we had when we did a new carbon uh, create from date or create from time. So for example, set date, we can say year, month, day, or we can say something like set time, and then we can set this to say 12 o'clock, like so, and that's gonna work in exactly the same way. So uh, in this case, what it's done is it's created uh, a carbon object with the date as the current date, and then we've just overridden the time. Of course, what you can also do is you can say set date time, and then you can go ahead and pass in the year, the month, the day, and the time as well. And that will go ahead and give you the date and time that you've specified. So again, this is similar to when we use the static methods earlier, or, you know, it just gives us a lot more flexibility in terms of doing this. If you had, uh, for example, a object that may be extended carbon, you would then have access to these uh, properties, which would just make things a little bit more flexible. So that is a look at some of the setters that we can use for carbon, which gives us just that little bit of extra flexibility.